I was trying to keep my coffee from spilling. They are changing this thing up every time we come up in here. Me and BJ's, they don't have like the little um things of clothing. They only got this out. They probably run out of certain things. And now the front is filled with put I bought that already. The front is filled with snacks. I see the TVs. They have plenty of TVs, baby. Plenty. Oh, she called. Um, the front is now filled with snacks. So we're in BJ's. Let's see what it's looking like today. Today I just want to stock up on like some more toilet paper. Some um, I really need napkins. And laundry detergent. Even though we have like a lot, I still want to put some more laundry detergent in my basement and that's pretty much it um as far as food items i don't really need anything in bulk as far as food items so i'm gonna see what i'm gonna pick up so they are running low on candy especially my favorite candy but it is valentine's day if y'all don't know i forgot the p i gotta put the p.o box info um you guys yeah i don't know i don't know about that one Yes, yeah, that ice cream flavor. I'm okay. But this is my favorite candy right here. This Ferrero Rocher. It went up to $14.99. We spent like $10.99. I ain't paying $14.99 for that. It's not my favorite anymore. But they are running low. But it is Valentine's Day as well. So we do like to buy veggie chips, right? But this one, I noticed that they put the label. We buy this brand. Anyhow. This is what we buy. But this one actually say you need this but then i noticed right here it says plant-based do this say plant-based it doesn't but it's vegetables right this definitely say plant-based though y'all let me know if y'all seen this or tried it so we do start to see like the overhead start to look more emptier and emptier every time we do come here um to bj's and it's not just one side, it's both sides. It's through almost every single aisle. Um, yeah. I'm trying to slow down, y'all, so y'all won't be getting dizzy. Thanks for the tip for whoever um, told me. It was Alaska. Alaska Life 907, y'all. Check them out. Check them out. Um, yeah, making, them, making people dizzy. Because I be turning the camera too fast rather than taking my time and showing you guys don't be afraid to mention them tips in the comments y'all is it's not criticism it's not i mean if it is it's constructive criticism because i do want to film better um and it makes it makes it better what's that it makes a better video for you guys you can see right on over to the next um ow with these gaps I wonder how Costco and Sam's Clubs is, you know, is looking. Let me know how y'all Costco and Sam's Clubs are looking. Some options for drinks are very low. Like I said, you can still see through to the next aisle. Um, the important thing is it's still available, right? That's the main important thing. Let me show you guys something. These snapples, was I used to always get these for hubby. And um, he used to take these to work and I'm like yeah we gotta cut that back because the price they used to be like $14 and change maybe a year ago now they're $19.29 for these snapples still not bad considering if you go to like a corner store they have almost $2 per bottle but the price increase on a case alone it makes it like yeah I'm not gonna pay that much as you guys can see I don't know what is something that you I always ask what is something that you guys cut back on there's some things in my cart that I'm about to put back like this at $14 and change look good but I'm about to put it back they're pretty stocked on the coffee I can't complain I cannot complain with the coffee they have a lot of it gaps are like with the canned goods like canned sodas canned um juices all of that stuff you can see what you almost fell oh uh, girl you can't drive that cart mm -mm -mm. um 
Yeah, yeah definitely. But it's been like shortages with the um, sodas and stuff. For those of you who do know. Same thing here. Even with the bottled juices. There's nothing really on the overhead of items. What happened, Maya? This girl is so sleepy, y'all. These are always great to stock up um, on. Like I said, all you need is your water. If you have water filtration, you don't want to waste a bottle of water. Same thing. It's filtered water in a bottle, right? Um, you know, instead of buying like a bunch of juices, you can have these on hand and you just mix the powder with the water. You can find a deal somewhere else. Like I said, like I said before, when it comes down to these powder drinks, I always find them on sale like at ShopRite. So if you have like a Publix or Kroger, you probably find them on sale like at your, you know, Publix or your Kroger. You do that. Prices of these um single juices are ridiculous. Thirteen forty nine for the what is that? A five pack of the Capri Suns. Nine eighty nine for the other five pack of Capri Suns, and then eight forty nine for the Kool Aid five packs. Is that five packs or is it four packs, y'all? I don't want to give y'all wrong information. Oh, this is four. That's why they're all four, not five packs. These are four packs, y'all. So what's the difference? Fruit punch, strawberry kiwi, and that Pacific Ocean. Oh, it's different flavors. That's why it's four packs. That's why this one is more. Thirteen forty nine. Well, that stuff is expensive now. All right, now toilet paper, napkins. Let's just see exactly what I want to get. This is sixteen forty nine for the BJ's brand, but the it's so tiny for the roll. It's so tiny. To me, it doesn't make sense if the roll is going to be tiny. Though I'm spending less, it's going to go quicker than you know the other rolls. So let me see y'all. Be right back. So the Charmin actually jumped in price finally. It's $31.79. It was 20 something dollars last time. I think 28. Something like that. <clears throat> um, but that finally jumped in price. And that's why the BJ's brand also did go up. They do have the Scott over here. For $26.99, you get 36 rolls. And them people, when I went to that my local um, supermarket for the little 40 rolls, they wanted forty dollars and ninety nine cent. Yeah, mm -mm. we can come here and get that thirty six for twenty six ninety nine. They got Ultra Comfort for twenty seven ninety nine, thirty six rolls. Let me see if this one have a clip. I like cotton nail. So even with the clips for that cotton nail, um, I make sure I'm saying that right. You only get a dollar off. I'm just gonna get another BJ's brand for 19.99, 32 rolls. I'm good with that. I'll take that. And I just need to get detergent, y'all. Nothing up there, y'all. Let's go see what the detergent is looking like. I need a cat litter too. We got Clorox colors. How many loads is that? 82 loads. 15.99. I want the Todd Simply Clean. 15. What happened, mommy? Oh, they do have the one for sensitive skin. For 15.99, 152 loads. That's not bad. We might get one of those. And the 15.99 Todd Simply Clean over here. 15. Yeah, look at these prices. That's it. What you see. The um BJ's brand is also $16.99 versus the Todd Simply Clean that I just picked up for $15.99. I'm gonna see if they have a clip. She said push me by my baby brother. So far we have four detergents and two things of toilet paper for the stockpile guys. So I like Walmart, they are full of water. Remember Walmart, um, 40 pack of water did go up to $5.39. BJ's is still at $4.29 and they have a bunch of it. And that was the problem in the beginning of the pandemic, water was running out. 
tissue was running out all of that stuff was running out but people who have memberships they didn't really have problems getting it that's why chickens have just been looking bad everywhere I go lately I don't know y'all I have to meet been looking at your areas and your um, supermarkets as of lately we already know eggs have been limited um, for the 24 count double pack it's $7.99 so I guess eggs did drop in price in a lot of places there's still a limit of two per customer oh they did drop didn't they y'all can see it's like this is just the bag I can walk right in there if I wanted to get a preview for you guys. Um, they're $15.99 for the five dozen here now. They're down from $21.99 to $15.99. And a gallon of milk here is $4.10 for whole milk, $3.80 for 2%. They do have french fries, but it's $8.29 for a six pound bag. And that is the straight cut for the crinkle fries. It is $7.99 for a six pound bag. That's the, of course, BJ's brand. And the name brand is $10.79 for eight pound bag. Two pounds, I guess it makes up the difference, huh? They don't have much chicken, but the price of the chicken wings are actually still down $23.29. The Tyson brand is $26.99 for the chicken wings and the um, Wesley Farms brand is $23.29. And I believe these are both 10 pound bags, which yep, they are um, as far as chicken nuggets and stuff like that. It's not really much to choose from. You know, it's pretty much as far as the freezer sections, low, low, plenty of gaps. Dang, I used to pay like 14 bucks for these. They're $17.99. Yo. I see the price is still going up. I honestly do. Do they have a, I didn't check. Do they, they don't have a limit on no chicken here. It just says there are industry wide supply um, issues affecting dairy, frozen and fresh poultry. If it's out of stock, we sorry for the inconvenience. That's it. And what? That, they over here with turkeys. Butterball, 10 to 16 pounds, $1.79 per pound. Same thing for the 16 to 24 pounds, it's $1.79 per pound. And Butterball frozen turkey breast is $2.79 per pound. You falling? You will have to be ready to like go to self checkout and check yourself out or stand on a long line and wait for one cashier that's open today. I'm standing in line. I got a little time to waste. I was just here two days ago. And I'm going to include this in the BJ's walkthrough. Give me, give me three. I'm going to include this in the BJ's walkthrough from two days ago. Yeah, I can see people grabbing up the water like it ain't nothing. I mean, they still have water, but it was way much built up than this. But they just had water. But being at Walmart is um, they went up in price on their water. Like I said, it's five dollars, close to six dollars for a case of water in Walmart. And BJ's is now the cheapest to get some water, actually, for the store brand. So this is the Target that they just put up, and I think I mentioned it to you guys that they put a lot of the electric vehicle chargers um out in this parking lot as well. So yeah, guys. It's actually April 4th, not April 12th. But yes, the charging stations, they have a bunch of them there as well. Like they have at the... Oops, I'm about to drop y'all. Like they have at the Wawa um, over by Walmart. But they are pushing these EVs. Y'all better get y'all EVs. I know I'm just playing right. But if you want, you can. 